Aptera, a small EV startup that has got the attention of millions with its unique electric car and incredible low pricing, is going to be taking advantage of Tesla. When Tesla announced earlier this month that it would be making its EV charging connection open to select few, many were taken aback by the company's ambition to have its technology become the industry standard throughout North America. With time, we realized that, without a doubt, Aptera may have had a role in Tesla's decision to release the charging connection to the industry. This is hardly speculation, as Aptera has officially revealed that their future solar electric vehicle would employ Tesla's charge connection, now known as the North American Charging Standard. Unless you own a Tesla and have used its supercharger network, you would have no idea how to react to it because the California-based startup Aptera is developing a highly efficient three-wheeled electric vehicle that combines battery power and solar energy. The vehicle's claimed 1,000-mile range is made possible by its ultra-light construction. It has only three wheels. At the start of production, Aptera kept its ultimate plug choice from public notice, but it soon became apparent. The analysis showed how it would be far simpler to fit a tiny Tesla plug under a motorbike license plate than it would be to shove a CCS connector in there. Furthermore, putting a CCS connector any place other than the extremely tiny rear panel, which was already too small, would jeopardize the overall aerodynamic design of the car. And the car's form has only become slimmer in the back since then. The company initially said it would provide 3 kilowatt and 6 kilowatt level 2 charging and planned to offer at least 50 kilowatt of L3 charging. When that battery pack propels a vehicle that's three times more efficient than the typical EV, the user will end up with something like 500 miles per hour via efficiency rather than pure force of electrical power. When Aptera, however, saw how good Tesla's charging network was, they became advocates for the widespread use of the Tesla plug. They found the J1772 and CCS connectors too big, too pricey, and too complicated. They even went as far as incorporating a peaceful petition for Tesla's plug to become the national standard in the United States. The petition has garnered over 40,000 signatures from many electric vehicle fans, which drove Tesla into an agreement to participate. Even while they didn't explicitly address the petition, Tesla provided some responses. The business announced its decision in a blog post. It claimed it made the standard available to all manufacturers and charging station operators. The North American charging standard is the new, more neutral moniker Tesla gave their technology. Nikola Tesla's line of thinking was very similar to that of Aptera. It also claimed that the Tesla plug can handle up to one megawatt of charging power and is smaller, lighter, and cheaper than competing options. This is about double what the best water-cooled CCS plugs can do. Also in North America, the Tesla Supercharger Network has many more individual charging bays than all other EV quick charging stations combined. Aptera praised its community for helping promote the petition in an email to reservation holders and investors, and announced that it aims to adopt Tesla's connection, now the North American Charging Standard. Remember when our founders discussed the need to focus more on efficiency and accessibility in EV charging infrastructure? Steve and Chris started a petition, encouraging politicians to make Tesla's connection and plug, now known as NACS, the standard for EV charging in the United States. The petition is gaining traction thanks to your help. It has over 40,000 signatures and is still growing. Only four months later, Tesla declared its intention to open up its connection design to the public. We're confident that the excitement you created around the petition had a role in this, and we're excited to include NACS in our SEVs. Thank you for standing up to the current quo. Aptera plans to begin manufacturing its solar electric vehicle, which starts at $25,900 in the coming months. Deliveries are slated to begin next year, and the car is already in high demand. The firm has over 37,000 bookings, each of which require a $100 deposit or $70 if you use a referral code. That's a pretty high demand. Wondering why Aptera is so loved? Let's show you some of its features. Aptera's effectiveness comes from a combination of its low drag aerodynamics and its lightweight resin-filled sandwich composite structure. Simulations helped bring the vehicle's drag coefficient down to 0.13 making it the lowest of any production motorbike or car. 
lightweight at only 1,800 pounds, is the 60-kilowatt battery variant. Aptera uses less than 100 watt-hours of energy per mile and on the EPA combined city-slash-highway test cycle. Aptera's innovative active cooling system contributes to its lightweight and low drag. Most cars, including most BEVs, suffer from decreased efficiency due to the added drag and weight of conventional radiators with fans. Aptera has almost little metal in its body. Carbon fiber sheet molding compound and fiberglass sheet molding compound are used to construct the bulk of the body. Because of its low density and the random orientation of its short fibers, carbon fiber sheet molding compound may be used to create complexly formed components via the molding process. It's a lot stronger and stiffer than regular sheet metal or SMC. Aptera's body panels may be made with a significantly reduced production time and cost because of the press moldability of SMC. The Aptera's resin composite skin has numerous microfluidic channels filled with a coolant to transmit heat from the batteries, solar panels, and motors to the underbelly and sides of the vehicle, eliminating the need for conventional radiators, a method initially utilized by animals. In ideal circumstances, the solar packages over 700 watts of integrated solar cells on the roof, hood, dashboard, and hatch will allow you to drive 41 kilometers. Most people go up to 30 miles daily, so this option will enable users to charge their batteries quickly. In light of this, the Aptera was first marketed as the first never-charge electric vehicle worldwide. Did we mention we also have news on the supercharging connection? Yes, we do. Tesla has reported that there are 40,000 supercharging connections in operation worldwide. More than 35,000 superchargers have been installed, up from roughly 35,000 in mid-June 2022, when Tesla celebrated its 35,000th installation. They also mentioned that, given the current pace of new installations, we anticipated the 40,000 mark to be achieved well before the end of this year. The update was confirmed by a post by the business, which read, 40K superchargers around the world and counting. Tesla. The total number of stations is quickly nearing 4,500. It was nearly 4,300 at the end of Q3. Indeed, there are several indicators that the network's growth may quicken. The need to manage an ever-increasing influx of new Tesla vehicles is the primary driver. Currently, there are over 750 Tesla cars on the road per station, or around 80 per stall. As far as new supercharger installations go, Q3 2022 was the second strongest quarter ever. The first stations in the Tesla supercharging network went live in September 2012 to facilitate the commercial introduction of the Tesla Model S, making the network an entire decade old as of September 2018. In the most advanced V3 configuration, Tesla superchargers can provide power to Tesla vehicles at rates of up to 250 kilowatts. This is compared to 150 kilowatts in an updated V2 version. There are also speculations that Tesla is developing a more powerful variant, V4. Charging plugs for Teslas are inconsistent in different parts of the globe. However, the company's proprietary charging standard was used in certain regions. The first firm used a CCS2 compatible connection for DC fast charging in Europe. Still, it moved to an AC Type 2 compatible connector due to customer demand, which is currently used in many other markets globally. In addition, Teslas in China have to charge ports compatible with the national GB-T standard. Tesla has just stated that its proprietary charging standard, used in North America and several other countries, would be released and designated the North American Charging Standard. Since it would need other EV manufacturers to move to NACS from CCS1, it could be more straightforward if the NACS becomes a proper North American standard. According to Tesla, there are twice as many Tesla chargers as so-called CCS chargers used by Ford, General Motors, Audi, Rivian, and other automakers. Currently, Tesla is inviting other manufacturers to design vehicles with charging ports compatible with its charging format and other charging businesses, such as EVgo, ChargePoint, and Electrify America to upgrade their chargers with Tesla-style plugs. However, whether or when other companies will decide to accept Tesla's offer still needs to be discovered. Do you think most of them will join Elon Musk's new initiative? Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.